Hi, I'm Derek. I'm one of the professional audiovisual account managers here at Electrosonic, and we are putting together several tutorial videos introducing uh, the functionality of the V6 Max Hub interactive panel. This tutorial video deals with the start screen. This is what you see when you first boot up the Max Hub. So it's important to know what all the components do. So we'll start off on the sides. There are two buttons on either side of the screen. These take you through to your widgets menu, which we cover in a separate tutorial video. You have a list of um, inputs that you can select if you decide to use the front panel connectivity or the HDMI connectivity. You have a link here, which takes you through to the Windows partition. This may be blocked out. Um, it's not something that you need to, to access to function the panel. Uh, it's more for the setup purposes. Um, this window over here shows you, once configured by your IT department or your system integrator, will give you a list of meetings that you have booked. So it synchronizes with your calendar, you can use it with your codec of choice, and here you'll see there's a, a list of meetings that we can jump into. It's a matter of tapping on the meeting and it opens up your Teams or your Zoom and you can enter into a video call. You've also got a QR code here, which you will use for wireless screen sharing or content sharing or sending a, or entering a, a meeting URL. Um, and then we have uh, on this side, we have the date and the time. Uh, we also have this uh, tray over here, which is fully configurable by your IT department or your system integrator and will bring up pertinent applications for your presentation. So here we've got Zoom and Teams, we've got access to the screen sharing, uh, which is also a separate tutorial video. Um, and then from here you can jump into a presentation as well. So you can, this opens up a window where there's a QR code for transferring files from your phone or your tablet. Uh, you can also use your memory stick or you can use a network drive or one of the local drives on here and you can bring up content for presentation purposes. Um, and then there's the whiteboard, which is a separate tutorial. Um, and that is the start screen. What's also important to note here is in the top corner here, you've got this code. This code is for wireless screen sharing. Uh, as I said, we'll cover this in a separate tutorial video. But this is the start screen and this is how you navigate into the panel. This section of the board over here shows your meetings that have been booked for the room. So what we would typically recommend is that you give the room a Teams license, for example, if you're using Microsoft Teams. When you book a meeting for the room, you book it from your laptop or your PC and invite the room. Your meeting will then appear in this list over here. It is a matter of tapping on that arrow. You'll then open up Teams or Zoom and from there you can jump straight into a meeting. The section at the bottom here features a web address with a PIN code and a QR code. This is used for the wireless screen sharing application, which we will dive into in the next video. The start screen offers a tray which can take up to six applications. Whatever is stored on the Windows device on this panel will appear in this window over here, there is a way of configuring it. Speak to your system integrator or your IT department, and you can customize this layout over here. Um, and also you've got date and time available. Should you have additional applications that you may not use too often, that are not really a priority, but still from time to time you require them, we have the All Apps button at the bottom, which opens up all the applications that you have installed on this device. So if you go to the home button and we're back at the screen over here. This icon over here takes you to the input source selection where we have a choice of HDMI and two USB-C ports. You'll notice at the top of the panel we have this six digit code. This can be moved anywhere on the top of the panel. It can also be removed but we recommend you keep it there. It is designed to give you access wirelessly to the panel, which we will discuss in a separate tutorial video.